Hello friends! Hey, I added another cookware to the van. It's a electric griddle made by Chefman. Come check it out. Okay, Chefman's all-purpose non-stick extra-large griddle. This is a 10 by 20. It's 120 volts, 60 hertz. 1500 watts. Let's open her up. No dents. Looks good. Got some little pieces of cardboard. Might want to grab those. All right. Before use, cleaning. I'll look at that here in a second. Contents, safety instruction, cooking guide, cleaning, notes, terms, conditions, warranty. I'm assuming it's part of our plug. Oh, that's the drip drain, grease drain. And here's your plug. Still the old school plug for heating. Okay, in the manual it says just to do a little wash on it. I did that and then it says to season it with uh, Vegetable oil or whatever kind of oil. I'm just gonna use olive oil and Just season it All right, we're gonna plug this in Let's Go in like that I don't know if you can see this. It's your on switch. We just turn it on like that. And there she goes. It's going to go for 350 degrees. It's already getting warm, so keep your hands away from underneath. And of course, here's my drip tray that's in. That's ready to go. Okay, so I heated it for a couple minutes. It's starting to smoke a little bit. And then I'm just going to wipe off the excess oil. It may add a little more and it should be conditioned. So that's at the end of the heating element. And it's cooking really good at that end. I figure it would cook a little more hot on this side, but that's a good sign. That's just at 300 degrees, a 300 Fahrenheit. It's sliding real nice. All right, usually when bacon goes to the other side, then I add all the rest. All right, put that. Got a little bit more. Add my hash browns. Flip that here in a little bit. Use some of that bacon grease. Well, I'm glad it's pretty leveled. Alright. I can add a lot. I'm trying to make it pretty for the video. <laughs> I'm gonna start salting. Because I like it on both sides. Bit of pepper. There we go. I wasn't sure how I felt about the platform. It's a little rigid, but I think it keeps it all together. So I'm kind of liking that. I'll flip that here in a second. All right, I'm going to flip the hash browns. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Yeah, it could have waited a little longer, but that's okay. Let's try the egg 
Here we go. Boom. Kind of looks like a pancake. <laughs> I'm going to salt a little bit of this. Not too much. All right. A little pepper. Okay. And I'm going to throw a little cheese on there. Yum. All right. All right. Let's scoop this up. Nice and crispy bacon. Just gonna flip it. Boom. All right. Hash browns are done. Oops. There we go. Well, there you have it, y'all. A wonderful breakfast on a portable, inexpensive Chefman griddle. Gotta get the rest of this stuff. Yum. And cleanup is gonna be nothing. So, yeah, pretty cool, inexpensive way to cook while you're camping or at home in an apartment or house doesn't take up much space fits great in the camper so i'm going to take this along because this doesn't make sense to have a campground that has electricity and i'm using my portable griddle for uh gas griddle for camping when i can plug this in so if this is something that interests you hey check out the link below i make a small margin on sales but it's great for the channel and it's a discount to you so, until next video, we'll catch you later. Bye.